Let's see what you done in this game. Boom. Even my camera is here. See. <laughs> oh, what the hell is this sound though? Oh, yeah, some music in the background. Uh -huh. Yeah, some music in the background. So I wanna commit into a level one cheese. Uh -huh. So tell me what happened. Uh -huh. I mean, I guess it's not a big problem if I expose these DMs. Might not want to make sure it's not copyrighted. Uh, I mean, I don't th like if you posted your video and it didn't get taken down because it's copyrighted. I can just turn off the sound. I mean, I don't know if it's copyrighted, but yeah. All right, so tell me what happened. This game with Q started. Um, Started corrupting potions, he has no flash, right? He doesn't place with flash, you gotta remember it, right? Some people play Ignite TP, some people play Ghost Ignite, right? So, uh, if if they start, I grief my lane against Jax, yeah, Q is definitely fine, rest. It's just the thing is, you were invading, you know, and often if you invade, you want a W start, but in here you didn't have an opportunity, so it's fine if you didn't start with W, right? So usually we have like two options, Q or W, right? Or if you get randomly invaded on and you didn't notice, maybe you got to like put a point quickly in your E so you may escape, right? So there's like a word where you even E start, right? Uh, but yeah, let's see, let's see what you've done in here. So you went Conqueror, uh, second inspiration, this is just standard uh, stuff that people get on Pantheon, right? We could also go Longsword, refillable, but depends how good you are in this matchup, right? Uh, generally, the safest, usually the best option that everybody goes for is, is corrupting, right? Huh? So the laning phase started. Jax is here, right? So in here, you auto attack. Is there like a reason why you push in here? Generally, you don't wanna be too pushed into Jax, right? Oh, I don't like how you're walking. <laughs> so the thing is, Jax hard wins level 1 against He has lethal tempo, he has ignite, right? He has corrupting potions, right? So you don't have Q up, right? So you can't walk melee against Jax like this, unless you wanna bait out his E and then back off, and if he jumps in, you stun him, right? But my problem with this play is, right? My problem is that um, you can't slap up like this, like he could just all in you in here. I mean, I guess this Jax doesn't want to <laughs> E, but he could bang at a really strong all in on you with the corruptings, right? He just didn't pro, pro corrupting, he didn't engage on you with his E. But even if you got a Q on him, it doesn't mean you kill him. So in here you got to be too confident. You got a Q on him, that's really good, right? You got a Q on him. But what you should then do in here, just pick up the first three minions with your Q. Then uh, Q on him as well if you can, right? But generally, three wave crash. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, like, my problem is that this Jax is playing like shit in here, you know? Like, this is like a really bad way to learn this matchup, because you use your Q, that's good, but you don't go deeper anymore, you know? That's good, you got to Q up, right? Um, here's the thing, you don't you don't really get to push like this against him. Like, if he plays a bit more aggressively, he, he is the one that actually has control over the wave, and the problem is after level 2, 3, it can get harder uh, for you, if you mess it up, of course. Um, so let's see what happens, right? So my problem is how you walk in, right? And you have a Q, you have two Congress tags, but it just does not, al like this Jax backs off, I don't know why, but it doesn't mean that you are allowed to step up like this, because Pantheon has nothing actually that can deal with Jax in, in here, you know? Like uh, your champion is weak level one, right? It's, it's usually weak, and usually you poke, right? That was a good Q as well, right? You couldn't get an out of. Now my problem is when you trade with him with these auto attacks, you don't really proc corrupting for the damage, right? Like you only use it at the end of your trade right now, you could then use it a bit earlier, right? Okay. Apparently this Jax just allows you to play really aggressively, apparently. So I do assume that you are playing weak side right now. So even in here you could get level 2 and go down war to dry brush, so it's a bit safer. Because I didn't really see the Jax. Uh, Leashing, right? I think he appeared a bit too quickly. Okay, 
so you don't ever W him, like if you W him he can actually just run you down because he will W the 3 auto attacks of your uh, of your W, right? And then, I mean he will eat, not he, he won't W it, he will eat, then he can just Q back to you and that's like a shitty spot to be in because he doesn't only soaks your auto attacks, it soaks your passive as well, so you were like hovering around him and try, you try to go for a W but that's really not possible. The only way you get a W of him if he's really close to you, because if he's far from you and you try to get a W on him, he has enough reaction time to eat, but if the distance is closer, then it's really hard to react, right? So you could get another Q poke, really good, you punish him for CSing, that's really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Problem is you're kind of deep in lane and you didn't like place any wards yet, and I do feel like you're weak sided, but I assume you can push this without getting punished, right? Probably you can push this, right? Jax is just level 2, so... Mm -hmm. So then I get the reset in here. I mean, I wouldn't really recall because I feel like the enemy jungler is patting upwards as well, which means we could be... Like, with 20 on you can do two things. You can recall, you can join the scatter scrap fight, you can even gank mid lane because you have a flash up, ignite up, right, W. And Rice has another gank setup, his EQ, EW I mean, right? Same as you have a vehicle that could gank mid, so there are options to go for. You have two corrupting potions up, so it's not necessarily that you reset, right? It's an... Okay. Uh, now I'm exposing every single DM in here. Um, now what else do we have here? You get your recal, of course, you get your longsword, but I don't feel like it's really the best thing you can do, honestly. It's uh, like it's a Lucian mid, right? Like if you ever get maybe a flash W on him from Fog of War, you have Ignite to... I think there is a word where we kill him, you know? Uh, or at least help Viego, you know, at Scuttle's Club if something shows up, right? Uh, but I, w I wouldn't say like uh, with two corruption potions up, I wouldn't say the best thing you can do is a Cheater's Recall. But it's completely fine as well if you went for that. It's like the safest thing you can go for, right? You just you should be a bit more considerate, you know, of... Uh, now in here I assume Ramos wouldn't contest against Viego, so I didn't know what kind of junglers do they have, right? Uh, okay. So you just set up to set up some really good wards in here. I think this ward is really bad, by the way. Because, like, Ramos generally doesn't invade the Viego, especially with no camps up, so... For a long time this ward will be useless. And we already have wards in here, so I just don't know how will Ramos infiltrate, but I think it's just a waste of war, no? I mean, yeah, I, I think it's just bad. In fact, you, you shouldn't even buy control because, like, we already have two wards in here, right, on the river, and you could just ward this area so Ramos can't really get in, right? I don't think so, you really had to invest into a control ward, from my opinion, right? Now let's see what you do in here. Play it a bit safely. Oh, I don't like how you charge up that queue. Okay. The problem is you lose uh, you lose all of your stacks, which kind of kind of sucks. Okay, so you stack them up slowly. Yep, Ramos is oh, well he did something the ward, but I think he got spotted anyways in here. No? <laughs> now in here you should make sure you don't lose too much HP because they will possibly dive on you, right? So make sure you don't go for some heavy trade, right? Or don't face your E. Okay. So you're punishing, uh, oh yes, that W was okay I think, especially in your ranks, because as I said, a close W is hard to react to with his E, right? So I, th I think it was fine, right? It's kind of like when a Fiora has to parry, right? It's so something similar. It's, it's hard to... You could go for another Q poke, like, even in here you have an opportunity, even in... Uh, I would just Q honestly, but I think it's... Is it fine? Pop your Ignite, Ignite, you should have been Ignite earlier. Yeah, so when you commit to an all-in, uh, you should man ignite earlier, so he, he will would he would be possibly in execute range, right? If you ignited, I think he could be in execute range. Yeah, we kind of did it reverse. You know, on on Pantheon, you you ignite earlier, so you execute faster. It's kind of like Urkot, you know. You don't wanna ignite at the end, right? So in here we go back a tiny bit, right? I don't really like that you W in, but I guess it's hard to react to, right? So I guess it could work, right? So you Q in, right? And you have a good E, it's completely fine. 
he missed the he missed position the tiny bit and in here I would already ignite you know because if he queues in like if you ignite him earlier like after he queues you should ignite because if you ignite him before he queues he will just queue out right but if he uses his queue aggressively then we should aim to ignite him and then we could kill him more easily right like we could even ignite him earlier and then maybe throw a spear after him you know and then he could possibly die right but possibly didn't even have to flash then Okay, we got him. So here we need to shove this as fast as possible. You need to get the 6, then you can get back to lane or you can gank another lane, right? So I would preferably shove this, because I don't believe holding a freeze is really a good idea in here, right? Getting that level 6 is really important, because then you put a lot of pressure on the map meantime you're missing. Okay. I just get that level 6 really quick. He has TP? Yeah, he plays with TP. I I don't like how you jump in. Like okay, you do it once or twice, but don't do it every time you with your W, right? Like I think sometimes it can be unexpected, but if you do it every time, uh, they will realize, you know, that you have like a pattern, you know, of how do you W in. Like as soon as you see him, you W in, right? It's usually bad to use uh, your W offensively from a long range, from a close range. You can do it, right? Okay. Well, you can get a recal, right? You can get a recal. <laughs> Okay, so what item do you go for? Uh, went for Serate Dark, then you go for your Eclipse. Generally, you get Divine on Pantheon, but Divine might be bad against Jax because he parries it, right? And Shin is a bit bad against Jax because he parries that auto attack, so maybe Eclipse it's, it's a bit better, but Blade of the Ring King, I like Blade more actually on Jax than Eclipse because it actually does the same thing but better, except it costs more and maybe your abilities. Yeah, I like how. Uh -huh, I like how you like how you backed off in here, like this was definitely a good move from your part, right? You ult in, I guess that I wouldn't really ult on a Jax, you know? Like, <laughs> this player is bad, you know, but my problem is if Jax has his Q up, he could just Q out on a minion and we waste our ultimate, right? So I'm not sure if it was necessarily to um, ult, ult on a Jax, like maybe if there would be a big wave under tower I would ult for it, but I think if he's smart enough he just doesn't jump in, you know? Like I don't believe <laughs> if he's smart enough, right? Okay. Now we just pick him up. Okay. Because uh, there are more vulnerable enemies, you know, on the map, such as the mid laner, right? Or perhaps the bot laners, but I think straight up ulting into a Jax is just bad, right? He has just the Q. Like, if you see him using his Q on a minion, then maybe you can get like an ultimate anger, right? But otherwise I wouldn't. Like, I think it's just bad. Yeah. I have the minion demoralizer on Pantheon, I never seen it in my life, but I assume it helps you to shove waves, right? Then here you get your reset, you get plated steel caps, or you build into your... You get two long swords. Um, you can do that. You can do that, but I would value more plated steel caps over a long sword and cloth armor. You know, like you give up uh, long sword, but you have the whole plated steel caps. You know, I just generally like it more than uh, 1080. You get 1080, but you you lose five armor, you lose movements with like 20 movement speed, and you lose 12 percent damage reduction on auto attacks. So I don't think so that 1080 makes up to it, you know, that's my opinion. I took it for the wave control, ah... You know, here's the thing, like if you're way more tanky, it's more likely you're gonna have a wave control, right? Now in theory, I don't know why are you so respective when you're already ahead of him and you already see he's not good at the jacks, like... Ramos is dead, you are afraid of Lucian, but you already have a ward in here, I don't... Ah, maybe there is a ward there... Not sure if you use them correctly, uh -huh. Like, I don't think so, you should play this passively when you're ahead, you could get so many Q pokes on him, you know, like, you allow him to CS for free when he's behind, you know? You should definitely try to, pre like, you lose cannon as well, right? Like, I think you should pressure him more. I don't think I like charging up my Q, right? I, I, th I think you play a bit too passively in here, no? Yeah, li like, why do, you, why do you allow him to CS? Ramos, we saw Ramos was dead, he now respawned. I don't think so. Maybe the enemy support you are afraid of, I'm not sure. I don't see him because of my own camera, but... 
I mean, I think the enemy support is on bot lane. Yeah, he's on bot lane. I just don't see it because of my own camera. Okay. I'm just not sure. Like you went, you're ahead in lane, but for some reason you started playing passively. Like Jax didn't really reach like an item point or anything. Like if you tap that, oh, what is that E? No, no, no. So you don't ever read like that, right? So if Jax jumps on you, you should stun him first. You know, you don't auto attack it off the three autos. Of course, you won't auto attack it off. But how you do? What you do if Jax jumps on you? You just W him. Uh, so you don't E because the problem is if you E, he can get behind you and he can stun you as well, right? Because if he's on top of you, it's really easy to get behind behind you, right? And if you ever eat, then you're always gonna get behind you, right? So that kind of puts you in a problematic spot because you won't get damage and da you won't get damage out of your E, and you won't get damage reduction either. So, like even if you E backwards, what he would do, like he was like something like in here, he could just turn back, right? So he can turn around you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you lost kind of a lots of HP. Uh -huh. So how, how do you do this, right? How do you play it out? As soon as he presses uh, his... Um, he, he is and he jumps on you, right? What you should do, you W him so both of you guys are stunned so he can get like value out of his... Uh, so in here, right? I pause. Oh, you tapped. Maybe that's why you got jumped on, right? You tap, then you auto attack. But you don't really tap in the middle of the lane, right? So what you should then do, you stun him and you try to walk out of the range. Now, you should walk into the bush, right? Because even if you don't manage to walk out of the range, um, this will... Even if you are stunned in a bush, he can't get auto-attacks on you, you know? Then it's like easier to turn the... Uh -huh. Yeah, so this is really unnecessary amount of HP we lost in here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think, mm -hmm. So now you're a bit lower, now you got to be a tiny bit more careful, right? Okay, so you poke again. Well, you could then use your corrupting potion, you know, it wouldn't be this close, uh -huh. Oof, okay, Dramus. Ramus claps us. So in here we should ping like what they use, right? Ramus ulted, uh, he pinged his ult. The guy ignited, right? So now Vigo can possibly kill Taramus because he has no R, right? Let's see if uh, if something happens. Yeah, I think the Ramus could be dead in here because he has no ult to escape, right? Vigo just ults after his Q, right? Or he Ws it, yeah. So this is actually kind of worth for you in the sense that uh, Vigo picks the kill up just because Ramus had no had no ult to escape, right? Um. Again, my camera is in the shitty spot, maybe I won't use my camera or I will move it, right? Uh, so, does he die? It doesn't die. So now we are fishing for kills with your ultimate, right? This is like working some upwards, right? So either Rika is in here or in here, right? Uh, so now we are looking to ult, right? Probably went in the tri brush. I feel like he's recalling in the tri brush, honestly. I think you could then just guess it with your ultimate, no? But. Okay, so it oh, why didn't you just take out the war though? <laughs> you fought go away. Okay. Okay. I mean, he doesn't have a freeze against you. You are ahead in lane. He can't really freeze on you like that, you know. The jacks. Like I, I think you're not playing enough around your strengths and weaknesses as Pantheon, you know. Like often you commit into a fight when you are really not in position to do so and Jax misplays or what happens, you are too ahead and you are not playing accordingly that you are too ahead in the lane, right? For example, when you get trading windows, uh, for some reason you just skip them, right? So like you gotta play around these cooldowns, around level differences, item diffs, right? You gotta recognize that you are the one that's in charge, right? I, I think that's worth it, honestly. So. Um, now one thing you could do, you can shove gank mid lane, right? Because your ultimate is not really useful in lane. Like what's your ultimate good for? To get back to lane faster, to pick up a wave maybe, or get plates if possible, but 
Uh, usually you use your ultimate to roam because Jax can always like you away from your ult uh, and even if you hit him with your ult he's just gonna E or W then you just don't get value out of it, right? Yep. You try to hold the free, you don't have to tank it, the minion wave is, yeah. So... I don't think so you should go there. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I, I think it was like a waste of time from the beginning. I think you just didn't recognize it that your teammates. So even if even if your teammates don't have enough fuel, but they should because he gets a reset, right? Jax is turbo behind. I mean, I don't believe he can do much in here, right? Um, it's the thing, right? Um, in here, like I would just shove, you know. Like because the problem is until you walk down in ult range, until you arrive with your ultimate, most likely the fight is over, you know. Because the Jax is just so behind, right? Yeah. So what you could bend on, I would just shove as hard as I can. Uh, hopefully get plates, right? Um, yep. Stack up your Q really quick, get the Q on the wave, right? Now I don't think so Pantheon is too strong as a champion on top lane right now. Even after buffs, I would say it's like fine. But uh, I, th I think what you should build on Pantheon, what I've seen, is usually Divine. Or if you want to go for a more damage oriented build, you should aim to rush uh, Blade of the Rain King or Eclipse. The reason for that is that it provides more damage, it provides more mobility than uh, Eclipse, it has a longer cooldown, but it's, it has good synergy with Pantheon's W, it generally makes your all-in stronger, although it doesn't provide lethality, right? It has its ups and downs, but I would say in an all-in on top plane it's usually better than Eclipse, right? Then I would get like then you have the option to get Black Cleaver, but you also can go for Eclipse, or you have options, right? You don't necessarily have to rush Blade, you don't necessarily have to rush Eclipse. Divine is an option, but I think Divine is a bit bad this game against Jax, against Ramos is decent, against Leona not bad, but against Jax, Divine is not the best option, right? Uh, then again, Yomus is a good option if you want to snowball the game and you're facing arranged matchups where you value more target access then uh, damage, right? Okay, so in here you just push, right? Okay. So you will look for an ult angle. I mean, I don't think so. It's ever a good idea, you know. Like you got to like time. So there's a time when you charge it up and when you arrive as well, right? So the Ramus was in his queue, right? Am I correct? So like, um, you got to think of, you know, like you don't instantly appear, you know. There is like there is a cast time and there is like a tiny bit of time until you appear as well, right? Like there are two cast times, right? So if you don't appear in those three seconds, right, then. Uh, in time, right, to collapse some people, then it's not a good idea to use it. Like generally how you want to use it, you want to use it behind people, you know, somewhere behind them, right? Uh, so the wave kills Lucian, right? The wave is really hard to be dodged. Uh, usually this middle thing is usually more so dodgeable, right? Uh, but, um, mm -hmm. so you pick up the, I oh, pick up the chin, uh -huh. You could then charge up a Q. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> okay. I just dead to the tower shot, apparently. Alright. Okay. Alright. So you got your. You get black, black Cleaver right now, right? Hmm. I mean, Black Cleaver is a fine item on Pantheon, I think it's okay this game, they have some champions with armor, they have Leona, they have Ramus, so it's definitely fine. Yeah, even Jax builds some level of armor, he gets armor from ult, so it's, it's okay, right? It's fine as an option. But I do believe getting Eclipse is not that good, like I would get Blade into Black Cleaver, or yeah, Blade into Black Cleaver ideally, then I would get Eclipse. I don't feel like Mythics are that good on Pantheon, you know? That's, that's, that's like my opinion, right? Like Eclipse is kinda good in short trades, 
Uh, but in an all-in scenario, it it's not that good. It just just kind of like falls off, right? Okay. Or you can even think of third item, Trinity Force, Divine, ideally, Eclipse. These are the three item choices you can go for. Depends what do you value: more burst damage, mobility, uh, healing, and uh, more magic pen and armor pen, right? Trinity Force is a thing I said, I mentioned, people don't build it usually on Pantheon. I think it could possibly work, it's like okay as an item. Okay. Alright. Or even like Gore Drinker 3rd is like interesting, right? <laughs> Makes you a bit more tanky. All right. All right. So we just pick up the wave apparently. So we are moving your camera at first at mid lane. Uh -huh. Apparently your team is doing quite well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so use your E4 mobility and you lagged. Oh, you play on. <laughs> I just now noticed your MS is really high. You play always on this MS or what? You have 238 MS apparently. Or is that like a bug? What do you mean it's normal? <laughs> I don't know if 200 ms is normal. <laughs> so now you have a lot of like armor pen on Pantheon, right? Um, you have the ult armor pen 10, you get Eclipse, right? If you get Black Cleaver, which is like 24 armor pen. Then again, you penetrate your armor with Black Cleaver as well, which is more so good for your teammates. Uh, it doesn't stack that well Black Cleaver with other sources of armor penetration because how it goes, you know, Black Cleaver reduces armor, then the reduced armor gets beyond reduced with uh, with uh, the other ones. But I, I think it's okay as an option, like it's fine. It, it doesn't stack as well, but it, it's okay. It's definitely fine because it makes you a bit more tanky as well, right? Now Sherilda's Grudge is another option, right? Because what Sherilda's Grudge provides you, it's uh, upfront uh, armor penetration, which means that uh, e and the slow, which is like not bad, right? It gives upfront armor pen, which means that uh, when you go for an all-in combo, you gonna benefit at the at the beginning of uh, of your all-in, right? From the armor penetration, with this one you gotta stack it up. That's it's okay, cause it makes you more tanky, right? Now in here you can think uh, of three options, right? Frozen Heart, uh, you get your Black Cleaver of course, you can think of Frozen Heart, Randuins if you choose, they got two crit champions. Uh, I would go more tanky after Black Cleaver. Like they have three AD, two of them are critting, would say Randuins is a decent option, right? Yeah, they have like some damage, some cooldown, right? And your team doesn't really have a frontline tank, that's why I would really recommend you to get randuins, right? Because your team has like absolutely no frontline, and as you like to dive in into the enemy comp, you know, uh, with Pantheon usually, right? You like to, really like to reduce their AD damage and their crit damage, because they have two crit champs, right? Okay. Or of course, like Dead Dance is an option you can go for, but it can also backfire, right? I don't believe if you get like that then your E can like soak the two damage probably, right? Uh, so that's like a good thing. Okay. Alright, you could then jump in, yes, you commit for that, you get out, that's good. Alright, we pick up the kill, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Oké. Okay. Could have been W that looks an earlier, no? Maybe you get an eclipse proc and ignite on him so Draven finishes him off. Like if you can't escape somebody you just might fight back, right? Like in here if I go back a tiny bit in here you should be fight because I don't believe you escape a a red Lucian, right? The guy had red on him, so maybe if you W in Ignite, Proc, Eclipse, uh, you know, he gets some damage on him, probably won't kill him, but at least like you should ban try before he gets like a full combo of you. So maybe like there is a word where he would be lower HP and the Draven would kill him, but I guess from this point it's just anyway so what, right? Hmm. Yeah, then this game is over soon, no? Just ult it, I guess, or what happens in here? You guys get Baron and slowly the game is over, huh? Yes, and we pick up these skills and the game is like basically over. Yep. Gonna stop this recording as well. The problem is like this Jax is like played the laning phase so awfully, you know, like um as I said you shouldn't get <laughs> get used to this type of Jax players because trust me if you W into a Jax uh uh continuously like that, right? Like uh, if if he uses his E in time, he has some reaction time then uh, he will definitely punish you, but if your thought process was like you play in lower ranks and these guys don't have the best reaction time, so even if you go for a longer range W on Pantheon, uh, he won't be able to parry it with his E, then it could be correct, right? But even then it can be going flippy, right? Um, but I think this Jax was like really, really awful in lane, right? <laughs>